Phoebe tried to be strong, but sometimes people want nothing more than to break you. Ann O'Brien sharing emotional statements in a Massachusetts courtroom this week. Six of her daughter, Phoebe Prince's classmates, admitted to three months of relentless bullying leading to Phoebe's suicide. All were sentenced to probation and community service. Youth Council was there and I got involved with their bullying program and now I go to elementary schools and I talk to kids who are that are my age when I was bullied. 15 year old Abigail oh, Niehaus is already oh, serving her community of Hilliard in a very different way. Okay. Featured in this bullying PSA produced by Youth to Youth and the Hilliard Youth and Family Commission. Abby tells me she still deals emotionally with the bullying she endured years ago. It still has an effect on me today because I think about my relationship with other people more like it affects the level of trust I have with people because of what she did to me. Abigail and classmate Katie Lease have joined a growing number of teens involved with the Youth to Youth programs, providing peer support for those who feel bullied. Last night they were on hand for a presentation by psychologist Joel Hayden. She gave me a look. Author of Bully Proofing Your Child for Life, he urges parents to watch out for the warning signs, and that includes monitoring social media. He tells me cyberbullying has upped the damage and shattered the security of the home. Because once something's out there that really humiliates or embarrasses or offends and can make a kid feel totally alone, and they feel like they're never going to get that material off the computer or a text, text message, for example, that's out there to everyone they know plus others, they feel lost. And if they feel like they have no options, that's one of the risk factors to suicide.